the next topic for today, dating. 16 tips to spot a stalker. And so <laughs> this is supposed to be for self-help for females to just keep an eye out. Um, it can definitely be difficult to spot a stalker in the early stages of a relationship or just you know getting to know someone. And so as they may appear charming, attentive, interested in you and normal in early interactions, you can definitely identify stalker-like behaviors by looking out for warning signs. So things to look out for in order to spot both female and male stalkers include, <laughs> they constantly call, text, or message you even when you do not respond or ask them specifically to stop, they basically continue to contact you. Number two, they follow you online or in person. Number three, they take unwanted photos of you. Number four, they tend to give you unwanted, unexpected gifts. Number five, they portray themselves as though they are saving you or rescuing you from certain things. Number six, they follow you or show up in places that you go regularly. Number seven, they show up unannounced at your home or work. Number eight, they make you feel uncomfortable or unsafe. Number nine, they act violently or threaten you. Number 10, they invade your personal space or touch you without asking to do so. Number 11, they pressure you into doing things that you don't want to do. Number 12, they are controlling or manipulative. Number 13, they control who you spend time with and when. Number 14, they try to isolate you or keep you from interacting with your friends and family. Number 15, they get upset or aggressive when you don't respond to them. Number 16, they get upset when you avoid them or try to end the relationship. It's definitely important that when you experience these warning signs, take them seriously and seek help because often these characteristic traits can lead to incidents that can be pretty serious. These behaviors can lead to someone getting hurt or even worse. And so there are some definitely very interesting uh, videos on Netflix all about this and I would definitely recommend that when things get serious and to the next level, definitely file police reports. That way, at least it's documented in some way with the police, so when severe issues occur, you can always file a restraining order to keep distance or legalities to protect you. And so definitely communicate with your friends, your families, counselors, law enforcement when you feel you are in danger. Consult with a professional or the police to file a police report when issues arise. Remember that you have the right to feel safe and secure and supported, and there's a lot of support and resources out there for you. So definitely improve your circumstances and resolve the issues so you feel safer. It's definitely important to avoid these individuals, but also separate yourself from these individuals. And, you know, it may be difficult to relocate where you live, but the reality is there are definitely a lot of reasons to relocate your home or change your phone number or your account information. Um, these steps are very important and you should not avoid them. Uh, they're actually super important. So when things get serious, don't afraid, be afraid. Don't be afraid to take actions. Actions are what will save your life and also save you from a lot of stress, injury, harm, and difficulties. And so build up boundaries, take actions, and do your best to foster the best situation that you can. And usually the best situation you can have is enhanced by keeping those most amazing in your life closer to you in these hard times. So if you're having problems with a person, definitely bring your family and friends closer in these moments. Because your family and friends can help protect you and keep you safe, but also offer words of wisdom that can really 
be life changing. And their support can really make a difference. Well, have fun and good luck. And I hope you do subscribe below, uh, regardless of what topics you're looking for in life. I, there are a lot of topics that I communicate and there are a lot of life-changing topics that I have created videos on. So I would love for you to follow and check out the rest. Thank you so much and good luck.